I think the best way to describe the show is if you imagine you walk into a beautiful house and you walk into the first room and there's an incredible surprise in the middle of the table and you get to unwrap that surprise and it's gorgeous and you love it and then you hear a noise from the room next door and you walk into that room and there's another surprise that's even more beautiful than the first and as you keep walking through the house you see more and more beautiful things and that is sort of what this show feels like to me we've got six actors playing over 100 characters they're make, they're bringing to life over 50 scenes and every one of those scenes is basically like a mini play in itself so it's fully contained and you never see the actors or you never see the characters from one scene and the next scene again and um and what we're doing at the moment is basically working in as much detail as we can to bring these worlds to life and doing that in the most surprising and theatrically inventive ways that we possibly can I mean, they've got their work cut out. It's going to be, it's going to be mayhem <laughs> backstage um, because they have, they have all these characters to invent. So, of course, they have to change their costumes and come back on and they need to, you know, remember where they are and where we are in the play. So, yeah, it's a very, very busy show for them. The play usually gets done with many more actors than that. So doing it with six is kind of like a marathon and a sprint all at once. But yeah, they'll be busy. <laughs> What makes Carol Churchill one of the most influential playwrights of contemporary British theatre is probably the fact that she has always, from the beginning of her writing career, um, challenged herself to reinvent form. She is sort of endlessly surprising, I think, and, and um, that's what's earned her this incredibly influential position in the British theatre landscape. She has been so influential to basically everybody who writes plays now and everything that you see people playing with in terms of form now that people call inventive now, she has definitely already done. So in a way perhaps she's sort of like what the Beatles were to contemporary music, you know. They've sort of, they sort of influenced everything and so has she. <laughs>